This is Deluxe Kairos, my pay to play account where I buy every decent progression offer in the shop. My goal is to max out the account as fast as possible and see how much that costs. Right now we're up to a total of $580.85. Now it's been a few days since my last recording and on day 62, I opened up a legendary star drop containing Sharktooth Colt. I don't normally care too much for skins, but the fact that I've got two really awesome skins for Colt is pretty awesome. And using this random skin thing is like perfect for it. Today though, we have some special offers, okay? Yes, we have these level up offers and I am going to purchase them. I'm not going to show these to you guys all the time, but just know that if these do pop up, then uh, I'm going to be buying them, at least for now. And I am going to be buying the PowerPoint ones as well, uh, because I actually need PowerPoints right now. Because a while ago, I spent like 40 or 50 bucks on straight up coin offers. So, <laughs> and those were by far the best value offers I've been able to spend for progression on this account, aside from the Brawl Passes, obviously. But today we have another really special, awesome offer right here. 99 gems for this hypercharge. Now, this is more expensive than the typical hypercharge offers that you get when they're on first release, which costs 79 gems. But this comes out to an average of 51 coins per gem, which is way high on my scale of value. Like in terms of progression, it's one of the best offers you can get. But you cannot purchase these unless the brawler that they are for is at power 11. And obviously I have plenty of golden power points, but my goal from this point on is to make sure that I always have enough coins to get any of my brawlers to power 11, just so I can buy offers like that. So Jesse is now going to be my next maxed out brawler, and we are definitely going to buy this hypercharge for Jesse, which is really fun and exciting. Jesse is one of my favorite brawlers in the game, even if I don't play her a whole lot. I do feel like spark plug is a little bit better for Jesse. However, recoil spring is so good for heist and uh, she would, is an excellent option to have for map maker heist events. So I'm going to be doing that. Yes, I am doing the map maker every single day, three times a day because you still get up to 30 XP for free every day for voting on map maker. So that will be really nice for her. And if I'm going with the toxic heist combo for Jesse, then Shocky is honestly the way to go, even though Energize is better. But let's just do it. We're going full toxicity here. We're definitely going to get her pet power gear for that additional damage from her turret. And we might as well just double it up with this gadget charge gear so we can use that uh, <laughs> gadget four times a match. <laughs> this is like the most toxic build you can have for Jesse. Now we do have a special Lunar Brawl event going on right now. And that means I do get to open up eight of these star drops. So uh, we're just going to spam open it up. Oh, <laughs> starting off with a mythic. This has got to be a barley skin. Okay, well, a golden barley, that's a cool skin. I mean, I would rather have progression, even power points, but whatever. But that was the only mythic one. We also get some free bling, which is really nice. Some gems as well, and uh, 888 uh, XP doublers, which, I mean, we'll use it. And then tomorrow I get this free legendary, which is gonna be super hype. But it's not over, okay? We have the flag bearer piper skin. Now, here's the thing. This, you have to spend 149 gems to get this icon, this pin, and this skin for Piper, but then you get some coins and some spray. This by itself, not worth it. Even on this account, where I'm spending a lot of money on a lot of different offers, I am not going to be, I would not purchase this. But it is required in order for you to get this one with power points and then five star drops. Uh, this pin, I don't really care too much. But then that is required for you to buy this pile of coins. This provides just as much value as that hypercharge uh, offer that I just barely bought, which I said is one of the highest value um, um, offers that you can actually get. And then on top of that, you get 2000 XP doublers and a free legendary. And this legendary star drop, this could make or break the value of this. If this gave me a, a hyper charge, then this is a great offer. And if it is like a skin or something like that, because all I care about is progression on this account, then this offer is pretty subpar. I really don't feel like I'm gambling when it comes to this. Kind of feels like we're back to mega boxes, but there is enough guaranteed progression here that I feel pretty good about it. Now I have purchased one of these before in the past on the previous CCTV Poco offer, you might recall, there was actually way more coins in the offer and way less power points. This one has a lot more power points, which you know, if you don't need power points, then probably don't get this. But I did mention that I am in need of power points. Yes, it looks like I've got plenty of power points now, and I'm probably reaching the point where I don't need to keep buying power points. But it's becoming clear to me that uh, good power point offers are actually worth buying for now. So let's go ahead and buy this. We are unlocking this new skin, which is actually a really cool skin for Piper. I don't think that I have um, a cool skin for Piper yet. All I have is pink Piper, which I actually do really like. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and select Flagberry Piper. This one's really cool. We'll grab those 200 free coins, this new spray, and then we buy this PowerPoint offer right here. 2,750 power points, pretty solid. Now we get five star drops. These I'm assuming are not gonna be great. Okay, so we got three rares and two super rares, not that good. There's the player's pin, and now we buy the coins. This is the one that I actually care about. This 
right here by itself is great value. The XP doublers are basically trash. This is just enough for a little bit over one bonus reward at the end of the Brawl Pass season. But then we got the legendary, which I'm always hoping for a hypercharge. And honestly, even just a star power would be great. But let's let's go ahead and see here. It's a skin for BB. Oh, and I don't even like this skin very much. <laughs> if I'm going to have a skin, though, I might as well equip it, right? Which actually reminds me, we are um, above the max for bling, so we have to buy a skin. You know, and it's kind of funny. I would actually really like to get this doll Jesse skin. It's really cute, but you can't buy it yet. You can't buy it for bling for another uh, two weeks. I think my goal right here is to look at my max out brawlers that I'm going to be most likely to play and buy some of the uh, skins for those. I've got Crowbone for him. I've got a decent one for Leon. Oh, maybe a skin for Miko. Okay, Grouch Miko. I, I could see this. Tanuki Jessie's also really cute. In fact, this is what I would probably go for, especially, I mean, I just maxed her out, you know? She's one of my favorite brawlers. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna grab Jessie's Tanuki Jessie skin and, uh, yeah, this is a cool, this is a really cute one. I just maxed her out. It, it fits the theme of today's episode of, you know, getting Jessie all maxed out and stuff. And yeah, that's adorable. Let's go for that. Gosh, that's cute. I love this skin. Okay, now we got something special here. One tap right here gets me another bonus reward at the end of the Brawl Pass. And this whole episode, honestly, is all about trying to get as many bonus rewards as I possibly can. I want to break my record of the last season, which I think we're going to be able to do because I'm already at 10 bonus rewards and we still have 21 days and 12 hours left of this season. That is plenty of time to get more bonus rewards. And I think we're gonna be able to break my record like easily. The fact that I have 10 already and my record's 35, like, come on. Also, because of some special offers that we got this last season, 13,800 XP doublers, that's going to go a little bit of a ways, you know, that'll get me almost nine more bonus rewards. Another goal I'd really like to do is I would really like to reach that 10,000 trophy mark. Um, very likely to happen, I think. And that is where the massive stack of coins that helps you unlock a lot of new brawlers early on actually stops. So we got some good goals. The only thing left to do is keep playing and uh, keep paying. <laughs> today is day 66 and today is a big spending day. I mean, I, I guess it's not actually that huge, but on top of these level up offers, we, we got going on right here, 79 coin or gems for 3000 coins. We also have this level up offer right here, 299 gems for 12,000 coins. This is slightly more value than the level up offer that I just barely purchased. The level up offer was 39 coins per gem and this is 40 coins per gem. So this is massive. Yes, that's that's Thirteen dollars and fifty cents worth of coins, which is absurd, but you know, whatever. It's what we do here. Then we have this big value offer right here. It's actually slightly less value per dollar than this level up offer is right here. But I need as many coins and power points as I can possibly get, so we're going to be buying it. That brings us to five hundred eighty-eight dollars and eighty-four cents, and we get three thousand three hundred coins and one thousand five hundred power points. And uh, because we've got so many coins now, we also have to go get as many power points as we possibly can. So we're going to be buying both of these level up offers and uh, we also get five free credits thank you very much and uh, 60 xp doublers no thank you very much also today we have the lunar brawl special and we do get this sweet legendary star drop so uh we're hoping for a hypercharge as always i always say that every single time it never changes but instead we got a mortis skin rogue mortis cool do i even have a skin for mortis i don't Cool. Also today we have this com you complete me challenge for uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day. And hopefully we get some good star drops from here. Oh, okay. We do have a mythic here. Three chances for legendary. Looks like it's staying mythic. Hoping for a gadget. Wait. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. I... What? I wish I was recording. I, I really wish I could have shown you. I just had a pop up to buy virus 8-bit like while the mythic star drop box was opening i was like that's weird and obnoxious that is crazy okay okay cool well we only have one more super rare brawler to go who is that it's rico rico is my last super rare our new minimum that we're trying to get every brawler up to is 10 so i'm going to get him to level 10 or power 10. not every brawler is up there although we might have enough coins and power points to do so soon i'm not going to buy him a gadget or a star power because i've been getting a lot of free ones from uh, star drops so hopefully that'll help us save a little bit of coins down the Road. Okay, won the challenge. That means we get a new spray. Thank you. And the next time we get this duo challenge, then those will be coins. Day 68, we've got a legendary star drop. You know what I'm hoping for. Definitely Beach Brock skin. <laughs> oh, I have two skins for Brock. 
and I haven't equipped either of them. Random skin for Brock. Cool, whatever. <laughs> it's day 70. We have a Mega Pig. So we obviously get some bling. We get some coins. We get some power points. And now we get 20 star drops, which I'm not going to show them all to you. Oh, but I will show this epic power points. Uh, we also got another epic here. It's a Gus pin. He's very angry like I am. You can see the anger exuding from my tired face. <laughs> I just woke up. Okay, the last one is a rare. Nothing fancy from that mega pig. That's completely fine because... Oh, we also did get a couple of pins, obviously. Oh, trophy league ended. I'm... I'm okay, other than Larry and Laurie, I'm barely pushing. In fact, I only have three brawlers above 500 trophies. That's funny. Anyway, the reason why it's not a big deal that we didn't get anything fancy for Mega Pig is the fact that we've got another Mega Pig starting tomorrow. They got an event going on right now leading up to the next update where we have three Mega Pigs in one week. Let's see if I can do this without messing up. Oh, that was beautiful. It's been a while since I've done that on camera. Now today we have this XP doubler special offer. 39 gems for 3,000 XP doublers. It's not even enough for two star drops at the end of the Brawl Pass as a bonus reward. This is 100% not worth it. It says three times value. It's not worth it. So I'm not buying it. But we will get these 60 free XP doublers. Woo and uh, 10 power points. Oh, we've got a mythic one chance to get a legendary. It is a mythic hoping for a gadget. It's a fang pin. It is day 71. We have a wonderful. Oh, oh, could this be more than epic? Okay, well, anyway, the star drop's not the main point, especially not now that it's a spray. The point is, I am out of gems. <laughs> I need to buy more gems. I was buying these daily level up offers that I got here and I ran out. As you guys know, store.supercell.com is the place, the best place to get your gems and your brawl pass as well. You get 200 extra gems for doing this right here. And using code Kairos in there will give extra kickback to the content creator or whoever you support. Once your purchase is complete, you just go right back. Back to your game and boom gems delivered it says enjoy and yes i will enjoy so we are up to 688 dollars and 83 cents spent on this account so far and one thing that i will say here is that buying these offers has actually put this account on the fast track we're spending more money on the game now but like you're getting so many resources at 5x and 4x that like this offer right here which is 200 percent extra isn't even worth buying because it's not even as good value as what i'm getting every single day and uh we are racking up these coins and powerpoints so we'll be spending this at the end of the season after we open up all of our uh star drops which we have 22 and we still have 15 days left of the season it is day 73 we have a very big special offer here, okay? This happened like last month too, but look at this. 20,000 coins for 399 gems. It says 400% extra, which is funny because this, well, okay, well, this says five times value right here, this level up offer, and this says 400% extra, which would be five times value. I know that the math sounds weird, but that's how the percentages work. Anyway, but the funny thing is, is that this is why I don't trust these numbers and these values, is that this is supposedly about the same, but this right here, this comes out to 38 coins per gem, whereas this comes out to 50 coins per gem. So significantly better, even though it looks like this should be better. It, it's just silly that they, I don't know, their, their values, I don't trust them. This is why I run the math myself, guys. I mean, I'm going to be buying both of them because this is actually a pretty decent offer right here and this special offer is insane. But this is right here. This is an $18.14 pack. Like even at my premium way of spending where I buy gems at the best possible cost. So, uh, but we're going to grab it. That's 20,000 more coins. And this is making me glad that I have been buying PowerPoints because, oh man, we are going to be doing some insane upgrades. Like, honestly, the... <laughs> <laughs> the power is very real. Okay. And with that, we <laughs> broke 100,000 coins. Oh, and 50, oh, 49,000 power points. That is just absolutely crazy. But, and the funny thing is, I only have 42 brawlers. We'll have to see at the end of this video, at, when I actually do my upgrades, we might be at a, a strange point where it actually might start making sense for me to be spending money on credits to unlock new brawlers. It's all going to depend on how maxed out these brawlers brawlers are, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Spending that much money on coins is just not something I expected. I didn't even know that those massive coin special offers even existed. So day 74, we've got a mega pig here. Second one of the week here. Let's see what we get. I mean, I'm hoping for anything more than a mythic or epic. I mean, bling, coins, power points, of course, 20 star drops. Let's skip the boring ones. Got an epic here. It wasn't so epic. Another epic here. Come on. Ah, 200 coins. I will take it. 
Mythic? It's a griff pin. Epic? Man, we're getting a lot of here. Okay. Coins, I like that. Okay, epic. That's oh, a skin. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Unlocking Nita? <laughs> Surely I have Nita already. Okay. Well, hey, you know, I'll take it. And here's our last one. And it is some coins. That was actually a lot of coins. That was that was twice the number of coins that I got from the Mega Pig in my free-to-play account. What's up with that? Do I have a skin for Nita though? I don't. Well, that's adorable then. Oh man, we're getting kind of close to Spike. And uh, just because you guys are here, I'll show that to you because that's always fun and satisfying. <laughs> Day 76, we got a Mythic Star drop here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's a legendary. I know that this isn't the case. Like my free-to-play account has been incredibly lucky, but it feels like the pay-to-play account has been even more lucky. I, I I don't know. It's it's probably just like confirmation bias. But anyway, hoping for a hypercharge. Let's see what we get here. Oh, are you kidding me? Yes. Oh, that is epic. Oh, that is so good. Oh, okay, upgrade Rosa to power 11 to use hypercharge. That's happening right now. I'm not waiting uh, any longer. Oh man, Rosa is getting maxed out. We have so many coins now and so many power points. Oh, that's just crazy. Okay, let's grab her unfriendly bushes. I, I, both of her gadgets I actually really like, but you couldn't, you can't really go wrong. And I feel like I should be using thorny gloves. Yeah. You know what? Normally I would have gone with plant life, but thorny gloves, I think has a little bit more. It works a little bit better with his hypercharge. I mean, that extra shield and that damage. Oh man. Yeah, we'll go for it. So uh, that is another brawler completely maxed out for her. I'm definitely going with the speed gear. And uh, you know what? Pro yeah, the damage gear. We're just going to go with like a, a tanky damage dealer. And that is just another max out brawler at <laughs> 200 trophies. Oh, speaking of which, yesterday I broke my, I passed the, the 10,000 mark, which is, I mean, it was surprisingly easy. The funny thing is, is that a tenth of that was Larry and Laurie who are at 999 trophies. <laughs> but yeah, that was honestly like... It, it's <laughs> this account is just busted. It really is. We're at 10,000 trophies. We have 42 of the, of the brawlers. And if I sort by power level, I mean, look at that. It's just it's just ridiculous. Now, we mentioned a while ago that I have Crow at max out power 11 with zero trophies for a reason. Here's why. OK, if you go to my quests, I would you'll almost always get a quest for a brawler that you have that is a really low trophies. And as you can see right here, win five battles with Mortis, Crow or Grom, right? Well, every single day I go over to the map maker and I play the candidates of the day because you get some free XP for doing so. And so by keeping a brawler that's maxed out purposefully at zero trophies, it's incredibly easy for me to get wins in the map maker where you don't gain trophies, which makes it really easy for you to complete your quests. I have a ton of quests right now, but the reason for that is just the fact that we've got a third mega pig going on right now. So I've been playing the quests. I've been focusing on mega pig. Okay, we got another mythic star drop here. Okay, let's see what it is. It is a gadget for Bonnie. I don't think that I have a gadget for Bonnie. That's her bad one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's lame. That's okay. Today is day 81. Now, I've actually been back gone for a couple days. I wasn't able to film live, but I did have the Mega Pig, which was really nice. Always getting those star drops is really fantastic. I didn't end up even getting a Mythic or a Legendary star drop, but the coins and the power points are always nice for Mega Pig. So that's really nice. Also, later that day, I did get a Mythic star drop with Foot Bonnie in it which uh, I probably won't even use this skin, but <laughs> I don't know, it's cool to have, I guess. I don't have another skin for her. I mean, I guess I will use it. It's like unique, so I might as well. But anyway, I would have much rather had like Unicorn Bonnie. <laughs> this would have been way better. Now, I have said at the beginning of this video that I was going to wait to open up all these star drops until the very end of the season. And that is true, but it's not gonna happen in this video. I realize that this video is already pretty long and I do want to make some upgrades before. After all, we're sitting on <laughs> almost 50,000 power points and 100,000 coins. Like, we, we gotta do some upgrades. First of all, I wanna get every single one of my brawlers up to power 10. That includes 8-Bit, Tick, Poco, Barley, El Primo, Brock, and Colt. And just like that, we have every single brawler at power 10, which is, it's it's insane. It is so insane. And now I'm going to do something that is I mean, ugh, this is happening so much faster than I thought it was going to happen. I'm going to upgrade almost almost 
every single brawler <laughs> to power 11. We're going to upgrade Nita. She's now 11. <laughs> we're going to upgrade Colt, and he is now 11. Same goes for Brock, and we're actually going to skip El Primo, but we're going to upgrade Barley, Poco, Daryl, 8-Bit, Tick, Byron, Max, Charlie, Kit. This is crazy. Mortis, Mandy, Ash, Gale, Bonnie, Grom, <laughs> Griff, and B. <laughs> this is just so nuts. Now, I'm actually going to skip BB. BB is not going to be maxed at power 11. I'll explain why in a minute. But we are upgrading Gus, Carl, Penny, Bo, Stu, Piper, and Frank. This was all calculated, okay? Take a look at this. Oh, I could do one more. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to because El Primo and BB just had their hypercharges released and we're going to just straight up buy these collector packs. I'm not doing it right now. That's going to be in the next episode, but <laughs> BB will be max level power 11. This is going to help with that. And so is El Primo. And now <laughs> we are at a point where almost every single one of my brawlers is power 11, which is just kind of absurd. So let's compare this account to my free to play account exactly one year ago on day 81. I didn't record day 81, but on day 80, here's what happened on my free to play account. I had 28 brawlers, which on my pay to play account, I have an additional 14 above that 42 total brawlers. And on my free to play series, almost all of my brawlers were power one so that I could focus all of my resources into upgrading just a core nine brawlers that were all at level nine with one of them being power 10. They did have their gadgets and star powers and one of them had a gear, but that is nothing in comparison to this account, which has 42 brawlers, almost all of which are power 11. And El Primo and BB are only power 10. They're not far behind. Granted, I actually don't have a whole lot of gadgets and stuff. Like I have them on my max out ones with their hypercharges and just a couple others, but other than that, the only gadgets and stuff like that that I have are, you know, gadgets and star powers that I've gotten from star drops. Now on my free to play account, I did have 14,179 trophies. So I was pushing harder in trophies then. Whereas on my pay to play account, I have 10,687, which is an average of 131 trophies a day. And I've said this before, but I'm catching up to my free to play. So like this is going to get to a point where on my pay to play account, I'm just going to pass it. Keep in mind that all of this is because of the $688 and 83 cents that I have spent on the account and and the spending is not done. In fact, day one of the next episode, we're going to be spending a lot. <laughs> so subscribe so you do not miss it right here and you can check out this video, which is an awesome one. You should definitely watch. We'll see you guys in the next video.